get ready. With the summer season just around the corner, the weather is nicer and the sun is shining, it's starting to feel like water park season. Yes, nothing feels quite the same as a lazy summer's day spent lounging in the sun, going for a dip in a wave pool, or plummeting down some water slides. And as we've discussed in some of our other videos, we're big fans of media, but films in particular. We've looked at various movies filmed on location at theme parks, or roller coasters that have starred in films, but we now want to take a look at water parks that featured in movies. Hopefully this will get you sliding into the summer season. But before we discuss our list, this is your friendly reminder to give the video a like and press the subscribe button if you haven't already. And with that said, let's take a look at real water parks featured in movies. Number 1. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Raging Waters and Golfland Sunsplash Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure perfectly encaptures the feeling of the 1980s. It tells the story of Bill and Ted, played by a young Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, on a time travel adventure in order to pass their history report. During their wild antics, they use a time machine to recruit historical figures to bring their real-life versions of themselves as part of their presentation for the class. This leads to one of Bill and Ted's most iconic and typically 80s scenes in the movie. We get to watch as an initially confused Napoleon Bonaparte enjoys a day at a water park. This is of course provided in a montage scene featuring some cheesy 80s rock music and questionable health and safety standards from the park's employees. The Waterloo Water Park, as it's known in the film, was actually a composition of two water parks. The initial establishing shots of the park are of raging waters in San Dimas, California, with the scenes featuring actors being filmed in Golfland Sunsplash in Mesa, Arizona. Interestingly, the budget for the original movie was so small that they couldn't afford to shut the parks for the days they were filming. This meant that the so-called extras in these scenes are actual guests of the park visiting on those days. Both parks still operate to this day, so if you're a big fan of Bill and Ted, you can add these two to your bucket list. Number 2. Grown Ups Water Whiz For some reason, Adam Sandler movies seem to exude a water park-like energy. I'm not sure I can explain that, but it's like that tweet about ska music being the music playing inside a 13-year-old's head when he gets extra mozzarella sticks. Grown Ups is a movie that runs with that idea. This is a movie that features everyone you would expect in this movie as they reunite following the death of their junior high basketball coach. While they're all in town, they make a trip to Waterways Water Park. This is a pivotal scene for the movie and a lot of shots were used heavily in the marketing material. This also includes the theatrical poster. This scene features some expected humour, like a buff lifeguard with a high-pitched voice and embellished Canadian accent, Rob Schneider pushing a park employee down a slide because they called him Fugly, and Kevin James peeing in a baby pool and turning the water dark blue due to a reacting chemical in the water. What you may not know though is that Water Whiz is actually the real life name of the water park. Water Whiz is based in East Wareham, Massachusetts and is touted as Cape Cod's only water park. The park has been open for over 40 years and attracts 100,000 guests annually despite being a seasonal park. Number 3. The Way Way Back Waterways. And speaking of Waterways, this park was also a prominent fixture in our next movie, The Way Way Back. This is actually one we would definitely recommend as opposed to Grown Ups. It's an underrated gem, particularly if you have a liking for coming of age movies. 14 year old Duncan, unsure of his place in the world, reluctantly goes on an extended holiday to Cape Cod with his mother, her rich boyfriend and his daughter. Duncan meets Owen, an employee at the local water park that takes him under his wing, showing him that life has more to offer than his turbulent family home. He eventually begins working at Waterways, becoming the focal point for the rest of the movie. The Way Way Back seems to be a movie that slid under the radar of many when it came out in 2013, but it's a well put together film with a great cast, featuring the likes of Tony Collette, Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell and Liam James as Duncan. Liam won a Young Hollywood Award for Best Breakthrough Male Performance, as well as being nominated for an MTV Movie Award and Critics' Choice Movie Award for his acting skills. This movie really captures the feeling of being a teen during those summer months when you just don't have much to do. Add this one to your watch list. Number 4. Piranha 3DD – Jungle Rapids Turning our eyes to the ever gory, lavishly crude and overall silly Piranha 3DD now, this movie sees a horde of prehistoric, bloodthirsty piranhas set their sights on a water park. 
It's the sequel to the 2010 Piranha 3D, which was actually a loose remake of 1978's Piranha. As the name would suggest, 3DD turns up the quote unquote comedy and sexual themes. The movie has some notable actors in its cast, from the likes of Gary Boozy, Christopher Lloyd, David Koechner, and David Hasselhoff, and yes, cast as a lifeguard. Despite this, it's not exactly a film you would recommend to anyone. It features scenes with piranhas inside bodily areas, leg prosthetics that double as shotguns, and piranha decapitations. Most of the filming took place in Wilmington, North Carolina, as the makers wanted to find a location that embodied a typical American town. Found nearby though is Jungle Rapids Family Fun Park. This is your very typical Middle America fun park, featuring the aforementioned water park, go-karts, mini golf and arcade. The water park obviously being the most utilised out of the lot, with production lasting 3 weeks out of the 33 day shoot. As you may have guessed, the film was panned by critics and only made 8.5 million off the 7.5 million budget. A sequel has yet to be announced for the 2012 release. Number 5 Aqua Slash Super Aqua Club Staying on the gory train, we now turn to our last film on our list and the most recent of the bunch, 2019's Aqua Slash. If Piranha 3 D sounds ridiculous, Aqua Slash is equally as silly, featuring groups of high school graduates competing in a competition for a cash prize to see which team can slide down the park slides. Unfortunately for all of them, there's a maniac killer on the loose, who we get to see via POV shots. For the majority of the movie, it plays out like a typical slasher. There's of course, sex scenes that result in deaths, and other usual tropes. If you're planning on watching this movie, not that we openly recommend it, then turn away now, as we're going to spoil the standout scene. With that warning out of the way, the killer sets up large metal blades in an X formation halfway down one of the park slides. As you can imagine, this leads to one of the teams being cut to pieces. Further carnage ensues as for various reasons more and more people end up going down the slide and meeting an untimely demise. This scene is insane, but it's definitely the only reason to seek this movie out. The water park used as the setting is the real life super aqua club found in Quebec, Canada. The tagline for this park is interesting, citing the park as the most complete water park in Quebec, where it still operates today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our video on theme parks that started movies. A link will be on screen now, and there you have it, some new additions to add to your watch list just in time for the summer season. Now you're ready, leave a comment down below, let us know which movies we left off our list, and maybe we'll do a part two with your suggestions.